We have made it down here to Galveston. We're gonna fish the 61st Pier. If you didn't know, on the opposite side of the beach area, you can actually park for free. But anyways, let's go ahead and make our way to the water. So here lies the beginning portion of our fishing endeavor. Right on down there is 61st Pier, and we're not gonna be fishing from the pier today, but yet we're fishing underneath the pier. At first glance, this doesn't seem too promising. I'm already feeling raindrops on my face, meaning that it's sprinkling a little bit, and the surf looks extremely, extremely rough. I'm hoping we can catch something here, and for now, we might have to move more inshore and move away from the surf because it looks, it looks god awful right now. So what I got tied on right now is a voodoo shrimp. We're gonna throw this voodoo shrimp underneath the pier for a little bit. Ah. Woo. Salt water in my mouth now, guys. <laughs> what we're gonna do is tie on this voodoo shrimp, throw this voodoo shrimp out, and just see if we can get any bites. It's gonna be a little bit rough though, trying to fish this, so we might not be here for too long. This water isn't the prettiest, and I just wanted to come out here for a little bit just to see if I can get something out here. But the surf is extremely, extremely rough today. Oh, oh, I'm on, I'm on a fish. Am I on something right there? I, I am on something right there. What am I on? Oh no, I'm actually just on, it looks like some line or, or something that I'm on down there. I thought it was a fish because it's moving, but I think it's just moving with the surf. Yeah man, this is gonna be, this might be a no-go right here. Ah, and I broke off already. Oh, oh no, no, actually I got it back. Did I get it back? No, no, I did break off. So it's just some seaweed that was moving me around down there. Woo! All right, guys. It's gonna be a no-go right here. I'm already getting drenched. I have this really nasty habit of leaving the house and just not checking the weather at all. And I feel like today it may have just bit me in the butt because it's raining. The surf is terrible, terrible to fish. I already lost a lure and I was only out here for like five to 10 minutes. I'm soaking wet and it's starting to come down a little bit. Don't want to mess up any GoPros or anything like that, but we're still, still gonna try to set out on this fishing mission. We made a move a couple miles on down the road and let me tell you, this is a billion times better than we were, where we were just at. We have no rain and we have no high surf. It's actually, looks just about glass calm out here. The water looks nicer on this side. So let's get out here and start fishing it and hopefully we can get on a bite to take home and eat. So the water here looks low, right? But at least, at least we're not fighting that nasty surf. Ah, God dang it. Oh man, I can't catch a f break. Come the f on, bro. That's my second voodoo shrimp. Oh, we just broke off on the voodoo shrimp, so I actually want to throw the spinner around for a little bit to keep it up a little bit higher off the water column and also use a moving bait out here for a search bait. So with the paddle tone, I need to cover some distance. You ever in your head like have like a, an amazing plan and you're like, man, I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna catch fish, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and then boom, everything changes on you. Yeah, that's what happened to me today. There goes the fish. There we go. There we go. Flounder boy. 
God dang it, Trout. God dang it. He got off right here. Shook his head right at the last minute. Ah, he must have barely been hooked. Ah, it's a good hit though, good hit. Just so gonna repeat what we did right there. All I'm doing is I'm throwing my rod out, I'm letting my bait drop to the bottom, and I'm just gonna having a slow, steady retrieve along the bottom with the occasional hops. Okay, I keep seeing movement all back here, man. All back here. It's leaving me curious. Take a couple casts back this way. There's a whole lot of bait down here, so I'm gonna throw the cast net a little bit, see if we can get some mud minnows or mullet or whatever swimming right there in that area. Throw it on a hook and catch us some fish. Yes, sir, I think I got some. I think I got some. Might have got a little portion of it. Did I? Oh no, I didn't. No, I didn't. It might be really small. Ah, dang it, come on, man. Oh, oh, I got a shrimp. Oh, I got a couple of shrimp. I just didn't see them. Oh, dude, that is like prime bait. Dude, I caught some shrimps. Okay, so that's what's here, some shrimp. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ooh, we almost ate it, guys. We almost ate it. More than that. Got the feet a little wet, but it ain't no big deal. There's actually some more bait moving around there. Check this out, fellas. We got us two little decent sized shrimp out of those casts. Need to check the cast net better because they were in there and I just didn't see them. Oh, I got him. I got him. Yep, I seen that. Good cast right over it. That was a good one. It might be the only cast that we needed right there. Yes, sir. Look at all of those finger mullet. Godly, that's perfect bait. Honestly, it doesn't get much better than that. One, two, three, four, five. A shrimp there. Oh, we actually got one, two, three, four shrimp, five shrimps, and another mullet. Dude. Sick, man, that was, I, knew, I knew that was a good cast, I seen them. Now we're cooking with some peanut oil, boys. Now we're cooking with some peanut oil. <laughs> All right, here's one. Let's get you guys picked out of the net. So typically you'll see me throw a weight and all kinds of stuff on here, but for right now, I wanna try to free line this little bait out there just to see if it'll get on any bites. This went from a lure day just to a straight fishing bait day. Fishing with some live bait, man. Caught right out of the spot where we want to catch fish. Honestly, there's nothing, absolutely nothing better than that. Sweet spot on this guy, perfect right there. Okay, now we got two rods working here. Let's make a couple casts with the soft plastic. There it goes. That's a fish with a lot of head shakes. We're gonna keep him tight. We're gonna keep him in the water because the last thing I need him to do is spit the hook. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, there we go, there we go, there we go. Ah, oh, yes, good speckler. There we go. Oh, he swallowed it, he wasn't gonna go anywhere. Oh, yes, sir. 
Yes, sir, fellas, look at that. That's actually a nice size speckle trout. I wonder how big he is. Look at that, he choked the down south lure. We got two live baits running and this guy decided to choke on the down south. Sick, man, sick bite. We could not afford losing this one today. And yes, I have learned my lesson since the last time we came out here. I am not unhooking fish from there anymore. Typically, I would throw them on a stringer, but last time we had crabs just demolish our last one, so we'll actually use whatever the heck this thing is, a little drawer of some sort, put them in there. Well, boys, right after the cast net, we decided to go ahead and continue to throw lures and look at that. Nice size speckled trout. He's about 16 and a quarter. And we're gonna keep him today to eat him. Oh, oh, we look like we're getting another bite back there too, boys. Yeah, we, we may be getting another bite back there. The line looks tight now. Yep, yep. Empty hook, boys. So oh, something was biting on it. If you guys want, I'll leave a link in the description for any of these baits or anything that you guys see me using. If you guys want to use the same ones, go to Amazon and pick you up a couple. I feel like crab keep on taking my bait. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create and make a high-low rig. So that's going to be a weight sitting on the bottom and a hook on top just to keep it above that, that ground level where I feel all the oysters and stuff down there. Oh, we're on a fish. We're on a fish. Dude, he hit it hard. Hopefully he's still there. Yeah, he's still there. Dude, he hit that thing hard. I don't even feel him no more. Oh, there he goes. Oh, it's, it's a little... I don't know what that is. Look like a croaker. Oh, dude, no way. It's a little redfish. Yeah, sweet. Let's bring him up here so I can show him to you guys. He's way too small to keep, right? But hey, man, I didn't even know there were redfish down in this side. Oh, oh. <laughs> Not again, buddy. Not again. You almost got away. So we got us a nice size little redfish. Look at that. He is too small to keep. So we're gonna go ahead and throw him back, but, but it's amazing, man. It's amazing what you can catch out here. Well, I hope you enjoyed that a little bit of food, buddy. Now, you get to go back. <laughs> oh, look, there was a shrimp. A shrimp jumped right there, hiding right here in the rocks. But there, there goes. There goes that guy, he's taking off now. I have a couple of shrimps. I got a little croaker. I know there was a pinfish in here. I wonder what happened to my pinfish. We now have zero mullet inside of the bait bucket. So I put some of these nifty little bells that I have. That way I can come out here, cast net for some bait, and if anything hooks up, I'll hear the bells from a distance because they're pretty loud and all you gotta do is jingle them a little bit. My God, no way. I did not think I was gonna get anything on that cast because it was such a bad cast. And look at that, I got a mullet. Oh, oh, we got a bite. Oh, come on, come on, we got a bite. Oh my God, dude, that thing is going crazy. Oh my God, it's still going crazy. Dude, that's a good fish right there. He's actually pulling drag too. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna get in the water for this one. I don't wanna, I don't wanna risk pulling him up on top. Dude, this is a good fish. What is it though? This is a good heavy fish. Come on. That's gotta, yeah, is that a redfish? That's gotta be a redfish the way he fought.
Yep, that's a redfish. Oh, yes, sir. Is it a keeper, though? That part, I don't know. Uh, he might be a little too small to be a keeper. Oh my goodness, and he was barely hooked. Look at that, guys. The hook was barely set on him. Dude, sick, man. This is the second redfish. He might be a little bit too small to keep, but still a second redfish, guys. Just the thing, I, I thought today was gonna be a crappy day. I was almost ready to throw in the towel and go home because of the rain and everything. And look at that, guys. It just goes to show to fish, man. Just to fish no matter what kind of day it is. I heard my nifty little bells going off and look at that, guys. This is a 17 and three quarter inch redfish. I cannot believe while we're here trying to cast for some bait, he freaking got picked up, man. Sick bite, sick, sick bite. gassed from being out here guys it's starting to get super hot it's about noon so we're gonna get the whole it see i'm already messing up i got heat head right now we're gonna go home and we're gonna get this trout cooked up either today or tomorrow but what you will see is how to fillet a trout in 10 seconds even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer the no, man, I still go Go, 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 go All we used for this speckled trout cook was some blackened seasoning that I bought from HEB and a couple knobs of butter. Sprinkled some of that blackening season on there and man, that was it. Super easy, simple cook that you guys can do at home. And just take a look at how beautiful that piece of filet came out. Now, it's just time to taste it. Wow, even the skin is crunchy. Wow, that's good. Yep. That is some good speckled trout, but it's not good until we give Milo some. What's up, buddy? So this is blackened speckled trout. Tell me what you think about it. If you like it or if you don't like it. What do you think? Is it good? So Milo approved of the speckled trout. Now it's time to get Grandma Tilly's opinion on the speckled trout. You ready, Grandma? Okay. Tell me what you think. Mm, they look delicious. It looks delicious. It's black and speckled trout. Mm -hmm. So you got three left, so I can get two and you get one? <laughs> yeah, I guess you can have the other one. Mm -hmm. But it is good. You like it? Mm -hmm. It's really good texture, huh? Mm -hmm. I made sure to crisp it a little bit. Very good. Mm. And you know I'm scared of but The I vessels? Like mm -hmm. Very good. You gotta cook more often for me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all, we're gonna sit here and we're gonna enjoy this speckled chow. Me, Grandma Tilly, and Milo. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you stay for the next one. <laughs> Boom.